Okay, so for this part, uh, turn on this image. We don't need the bottom image anymore. So, shift A on the keyboard, image, reference. This time we want to bring in the top uh, image. Oops, my bad. Delete that. Make sure you're on the top view. And then now let's import that. Image, reference, and top. So for this image, you want to rotate it negative 90 degrees. So notice here on top, there's negative. So hold down control and then 90 degrees. So that's good enough. And another thing is the image is bigger than what the actual uh, model looks like. So what we're going to do is shift is S, S on the keyboard and then just shrink it till it looks close to the size. All right, that looks okay. So now at this point, I want to go into the back view. Remember, this is our back view, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll actually have to keep that in mind. You know, kind of a bit difficult. So now we want to create this part. So create a plane. Let's go to the top view first. I'll just turn off the actual object and shift a on the keyboard mesh plane uh so g on the keyboard and then just move it here i want to be seeing my image in the background so turn on the x-ray mode s to stretch it and i want the the plane to fit this uh this side so let's just bring it here i'll put it on the middle right that and then stretch it so let's bring it up to here let's, let me just move it okay now i can go into edit mode so select it push tab on the keyboard and get these two select these hold down shift to select both and then just move them in like this so what i'm aiming for is if i move them in like this i want a point where they start touching this line here this curve so let's just move this one in and let's also move this one into a point where it starts touching right there and now control r on the keyboard and then left click then right click and increase the number of divisions so don't overdo this you you might actually end up in a lot of trouble and now at this point we can start selecting two of these and then just stretch them out select two again and then stretch them out select these two and then stretch them out if you feel the gap that is remaining here is too much you can always add another line here but for now i want to see how it works out so i want add a line then let's go into the back so i'll select them so they are down here so push a and that other hey all right uh, so just move them up my daughter also wants to be part of this video <laughs> all right so let's rotate this all right kid and let's just bring it down here okay so go back to the top view control r on the keyboard and then cut make a loop cut just in between them and now what i want to do is go back to the back view then i'll be selecting these and then just drag them down this so we are following this line here select this then drag it down and this and drag it down as well then we'll go back to the top view select these points that are on the middle except the first one here leave it out let's go back to the back view and just pull them up so now we are following this line here i think that's okay so 
if you notice we actually have that shape but it still looks too low poly we need some lines here so control r on the keyboard then make a loop cut here so once you like right click and then you also left click same thing on the other side right click and left click so let's go back to the back view and now i just want to move these up just to create uh, that illusion okay so let's drag this thing up all right that looks much much better going back to the top view going back to the top view if you see the front side here it just comes like a line cutting so we don't need to do we don't need that so we move this one just so we can create that shape just so we can follow a round a round shape here so let's just drag these two out as well i think i think i moved this one a bit too much so let's drag it back in all right and i think that's better let's go back to the back view and i'll select i want to select all these so select all these at the bottom here push e for extend then they just drag them down and then s to stretch them out I feel like i've overdone it move and yeah i feel like that's about it all right at this point if i actually hide the images and then get back my object let me let me get out of uh, edit mode so this is what we have so here i want to add a modifier add uh, a subdivision modifier let's put it at three and then also get a solidify then this just stretch it up i think that's enough like 0.7 yeah that looks good enough then i'll just say smooth shed and now the whole idea is now to fit in the two together so there's a lot of tweaking that will actually go on here so let's go to the top view first things first let's put it where it's supposed to be like here and now you can see there's an edge here so let's go back into edit mode so here i want to select all these and just stretch them you can stretch them out not too much then you can also add another loop cut in between here just stretch it out just so that we can have that stretch the ones in front all right so we can stretch those let's see what we're getting up to here okay let's go back to the top so we want a round kind of a thing so let's do that all right that looks good enough that's round enough so now let's just stretch it so let's go back to the top view and stretch it and i feel i also need to rotate this okay and position it and at this point it doesn't hurt to tweak the the sole of the shoe just a little bit so that we can actually fit this these two together we can tweak it just a little bit so select it and edit mode then make sure your x-ray is on so just start you can just move 
some of these points just to get a round a round feel of the saw. All right, so we'll, we leave the x-ray mode and one more thing so as you can see we we need to pull the bottom line a bit more so let's go to the back view and edit mode then x-ray so we'll need to select so if you double click on the on the last uh, line you'll notice you can actually get that and then let's just pull it down just a little bit that's okay and select all then let's just drag everything down now all right let's go to the top view let's leave uh, edit mode and we have that so at this point we can stretch it again just a little bit okay and that looks okay let me just tweak one more thing let's go into edit mode for this select these points x-ray so select these points here and then just move them down a bit i think let's just zoom in we can actually rotate these so that we can get yeah Let's see what we have. Leave the x-ray mode. Okay, so you can continue tweaking. You can spend all day tweaking just to get the right feel of this. But you stop wherever you feel like this feels right. Okay, like for me, I feel this is amazing it looks okay and yeah we can continue save 